Today, 50% of the world's underprivileged are women. Rural women who make up more than a quarter of the world's total population are underserved. As per the survey in India, around 3.8 million women are intellectually disabled. They are the most vulnerable and often end up homeless or institutionalized in homes with little or no opportunity for individual growth. Hi, I am Liharika Gopinath and this is my project Hope World in collaboration with the Future Leaders program conducted by the 1M1B Foundation which aims to empower women in the rehabilitation centers and rural areas in and around Bangalore through training and creating income generating opportunities. When I first visited the Abala Rehabilitation Center in Hosur on an occasion, it saddened me and I felt that I had a moral duty to help these women in every way possible. That became the very beginning of my project Hope World. I chose arts and crafts as a media to engage them and help them heal emotionally. I started by teaching them how to make bags out of old newspapers, then went on to teach simple crafts like creating bottle holders and other knickknacks. Initially, it was a challenge for me to work with a few of them due to their mood swings that was caused by their mental health condition. By selling a few of my folk art paintings, I raised funds to buy them resources like sewing machines, cloth and jute ropes. With the help of my crafts mentor, we began the tailoring classes. I started with four women, but as the days passed, 14 more women joined. We recently even got an order for 1000 bags worth rupees 10,000. And my biggest learning has been that I should never underestimate the talents of such women because they were quick learners and they taught me many new techniques too. I've expanded the project to a remote village called Dordamanji in the Anchati forest area in the Krishnagiri district of Tamil Nadu with 25 constituent villages where girls generally marry young right after completing their secondary education. I met the women and other community leaders and after initial hesitation, around 20 young women showed interest in being a part of my project. We were given permission to use a community hall by the village elders for this purpose. I'm raising funds through crowdfunding platforms and have also approached a US-based company Caterpillar for CSR funding support. We have started a small-scale business of handcrafted products like jute bottle holders, cloth bags, paper bags, crafts with bottles, simple Indian folk art paintings, abstract paintings and more. These 18 women in the rehabilitation center now earn an income of Rs. 1,500 to 2,000 per month. The future of this project looks very exciting. I've also approached a few other corporates like Titan and Ashok Leyland companies for funding support in the near future. Using the natural resources available in the village like local herbs and spices, we're looking to branch into niche organic products as well. Hillary Clinton once said, Women are the largest untapped reservoir of talent in the world. So, I want you to join hands with me to make a difference today. This is Hope World, and we believe there's always a better tomorrow. If you want to know more about my project, please visit my official website, projecthopeworld.com, and do share my video with others. Also, contact me at niharika.gopinath at gmail.com to know more. Thank you for your support.